morning youtubers well I've come down this morning and it's very mist in fact you could see in front of your hands earlier on when I was uh, on the car boots um, but uh, it's cleared up a lot now but uh, yesterday morning it was raining in fact uh, we've had three days of freezing um, frost uh, minus two minus three which took out all my dahlias it took out basically everything except for the um, the turnips and the oh good god the radish everything else uh, it, it died all my dahlias got it and um, my front part of my plot's not looking too good at the moment um, but we're not going to be talking about the front part of the plot we're talking about the the back part of the plot we've been getting it all tidied up all the stuff everything cleared out this week ready for putting the the garlic on on the the 5th of um, november that's when they always put it in so uh i've got a little uh, i've got a, a clip here where this is how my week's been it starts off uh yesterday morning um funny enough uh I got here um, I noticed my mate was uh, heading onto the allotments with um, the horse manure so I videoed him coming uh, and there's, there's a, I'm in my car and I'm pointing a few things out in the video uh, about where we are in the car telling you about the amenities we've got and what have you and you'll see him pull up and uh, you see his tractor and <laughs> you see it spewing um, hydraulic fluid hopefully the, the camera picked it up that is and then um, straight after that I had to go and sort the chickens out um, so you could see me doing a bit of that and also um, I was handed um, a friend of mine's handed the keys in yesterday uh, um, Christina and Jack turned up with the keys and we went and seen the plot it, it was absolutely spotless in fact I'm going to show you this is how we like to have our plots handed back to us when, when they've, um, when people give them up. It doesn't always look like what you're going to see in the video. So let's start off in the car park. We just arrived yesterday. Well, you join me. I uh, just pulled into the car park on the allotments. I'm waiting for me, my mate Jack and Christina to turn up with the the keys. They're giving the the allotments up today. He's not well. He's had he's had the triple heart bypass, and she's not well. They're in the 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 sixties, seventies and um well they're not in good health but the plot is a wonderful plot what they're going to be leaving to someone and uh, i'm just here to collect the keys uh, i've got the gates open at the moment waiting for uh, my mate bob he's just going to be dropping um, a, a tractor well it's a big massive trailer you've probably seen it in some of my videos he drops a couple of loads off a week i've just seen him having a natter um just round the corner there to someone he'll be here in a bit and he's going to drop a drop a load into <coughs> This bay here, um, it's almost empty. Uh, I gave him a tin call the other day and he says not a problem. And he's, he's like I say, he's on his way. Um, while well, we're here, I'm waiting. Um, I just want to show you a few things. That's the gents' toilets, ladies around the other side, uh, community room there. And these are little, these are like little sheds for people. Um, this is another store, we've got another store around the back of it. Um, this is the shop over here, this big container. And as you see, we've got a pretty formidable fence in there. <laughs> Although I've seen a four-year-old kid climb over that like it was not even there. So <laughs> the uh, vandal grease on the top of it uh, does deter him, I suppose. <laughs> and uh, I can say the vandal grease wasn't put on by me. It was uh, um, it done about eight or nine years ago. I'm surprised if there's any vandal grease left on them gates. They've been kids have climbed over that many times, but uh, yeah. Anyway, um, in the distance over there, you can just see my plot. Hang on, we'll zoom into it. Uh, it's there's me flag. It's uh, not blowing at the moment, but just be in front of it there, that greenhouse. I helped build that. Uh, in fact, I did most of the work. Um, 16 foot by 8 foot by 8 foot absolute awesome greenhouse I'd love to have had that myself um, he got it for absolutely nothing that's what people do on these lots to get everything for absolutely nothing I've yet to find anything that I didn't have to pay for but uh, yeah it's a beautiful greenhouse that you could just see my flag behind it and you can see all the leaves now going um, coppery colours and that one there I'm gone 
That one there is right in front of my plot. That one. And now them leaves are falling all over my plot at the moment. I'll take you over there in a moment or two and uh, I'll show you what we've been doing this week. But at the moment, I'm stuck here and uh, I'm, I'm waiting for um, Bob to turn up with the with his tracks a load of uh, horse manure and also um, waiting for Christina to um, give me the keys. So there's not a soul on the allotments, which is um, it's, it's pretty incredible. However, um, it's been raining for the last three days. It, we had frost um, for four days. Now it's bloody raining again. So, and as you can see, look at the puddles there. That's something else we need to address. And what causes that, well, you'll, you'll probably see it in a minute or two. It's a bloody tractor. Um, churns it all up. And he, when he's doing his reversing and turning, it, it just tears the, the car park up, unfortunately. But um, what we do need to do is throw a few bags of uh, gravel into there, and that should take care of that. So anyway, I'm going to we'll pop back in a minute. I, I'm just going to keep my eye out for him. Like I say, he was, I, I noticed him about... 10 15 minutes ago, and he was having a good natter um, to someone um, not far away from where I live, actually. So, if he was to stop now, it's nattering and get him drive around, he'd probably be here in 10 minutes. Anyway, I'm going to just put the camera on pause and we'll be back. I think this might be Christina coming, so there we go. Look who's here. <laughs> yeah, it's Bob and his tractor. But there's his load. And as you've just seen, there, he's gone through the puddles and that's what churns it up. So he's sticking that into there. I'll show you in a bit when it's done. I'm not going to video him because, uh, you know, he's not a film star after all. But that's his tractor and we get two loads of them every every day but every, every week we get them um almost every every week but uh, yeah as you see there's reversing in now and it'll be lifting it up in a second <laughs> to make these trailers with all the hydraulics and everything what he'll do is he'll give it a good shake in a minute and it start there you go oh it's starting to come out now there's an art to doing this and over the years he's mastered it even kept it inside the bay how about that bit there's a bit of skill for you you got the lot there good yeah do a well good job that there you go they're all emptied out until the next time Ooh, it stinks there you go Coil just drops out then. Just going better go and sell him, but yeah, there we go. Got it in, in between the gates, in between the posts, that's all what matters. Job's well done. Girls. <laughs> He's just gonna lock the gates now, lock the doors now on the, the back of the wagon. Bloody oil. <laughs> oh well. It must cost him. Well, as you can see, what that tractor does, <laughs> it churns the, the bloody car park up. But uh, it's worth it. I mean, this this uh, get flattened down in a couple of days when the cars go over it. But yeah, there it is inside there, the liquid gold. I just saying to him there, so it must cost you more money in bloody hydraulic fluid. It's a bit of, that's where it where it pumps out when he was when the ram was coming down. 
I don't know. But yeah, that stuff there is absolutely awesome. He's going to be back in the week. He's going to drop another load um, in the top bay as well. So there's a the result. Now I've got to go and sort the bloody communal chickens out and collect the eggs. And then I've got to do mine. And I've also still got to wait to, for a friend of mine to come and hand the keys back in. So, And that's before they even get to me plot. But when we get to the plot, I'll show you what we've been doing this week. So anyway, with that, we'll be oh, right I'm just back. moving on down to the chickens now. They're all come running. Here they are. They've seen me. They've all come running to the fence. <laughs> just come to collect the eggs. I've got a million and one things to do. Here they are. They're all, half of them are molting. And uh, well, I'm gonna get the eggs, put some water, it looks like that one's empty. Put some water and food in there. There's one having a dust bath over there. But yeah, these are me babies. Nova Browns they are. I'm going to let them outside in a minute as well, so they'll be running around in the the field at the side of the, the pen. Look at her there. Right, we're we'll going to collect the eggs, put some food in, and we'll let them out. Look at them all come running. You know my voice, well, that's just for sure. Some, some um, food on the floor there just to distract the buggers, so I can put the food in the feeders. These are the feeders. Just chop some up. Now then, I'm gonna open the door and let them all run out there into the into the field. There they go. See, free range chickens and very happy chickens too. Look at them getting stuck into the the weeds out there. A good mind to hire these out on the plots. Clear your plot of weeds. Week, week loan of the chickens, 20 quid. <laughs> Look at them, happy chickens. Well, there you go, folks. Thought I'd show you that. Look at them all. Absolutely awesome, aren't they? I don't think there's one left in here. Nope, they've all buggered off. There might be one or two in the, in the nest box here. That's where I'm going next. And then... Uh, Go in there and collect the eggs in a minute and I'll show you what we've got. In fact, let's have a pop in there now. Oh yeah, Lot of, lots of eggs there. Not as many as I would have thought, but then it's still only early. But uh, we'll be back later on. What we got there, we've got six, ten, eleven. Uh, we have got, I think there's 20, 22 of them. A lot of them are, are molted, as you can see there's feathers everywhere. So you won't be getting tons of eggs, but hey ho, I'm gonna collect these and then I'm gonna continue with what else I've got to do. And then we'll get back onto my plot and I'll show you around my plot. I keep saying that, don't we? Up the, the water feeders with clean drinking water for the girls. I've got two of these feeders. And yeah, fill them up to the top, screw that lid back on. And uh that should keep them happy for 24 hours anyway. Put brand new drinking water in there every day. And like I say, we've got 22 chickens. And um, yeah, we just kit them, just kit them outside there so they're eating all the weeds in the, the paddock while I'm doing this. It's nearly full. I've got to go back in. I've got to go and do the eggs and put the eggs into the into the book and uh, wait for someone to turn up who's handing the keys back in. And that, only then will I be able to go onto my plot and do what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to show you anyway. There we go. You see full to the top. Um, I've been doing them for the last what six days because everyone else has um, been doing other things, but. They're up and down the, the eggs, uh, 17, 14, 12, that's because of the, the starting to molt. There's a load of eggs there. But um, yeah, these are where people pay in. They put how many they've taken? 12, two pound, four, <laughs> four eggs. Um, 12, you know, you can see it's uh, six eggs a pound. All that money gets collected and then it goes into the, um, the allotment funds. 
But as you can see, got lots of eggs there. Another notice board there as well. Anyway, we've finally sorted the chickens out. My next job now is wait for the um, a plot order to hand the keys back in then we can actually do some on the Well guys, we're just coming onto Christina's and Jack's plot. Now, what you see here is what we would like to see when people hand the plots back in. Now this was this was Jack's for about 25 years and uh, as you can see all the beds, there's not a weed anywhere. There's his shed down there. These here are all fruit trees. Some sedum there, a rhubarb patch here. Um, coming along here, these are all raspberries, currants, gooseberries. Uh, there's oh, some nice damson trees there. One there, couple there. That small one there. Oh, well, that's nice. But these are all. These are all fruit trees, all along here is all fruit. Strawberry bed here. Now, I'm not doing no damage walking over across here, but even got a bit of a lawn there where they can have a, get the deck chairs out. But uh, yeah, this is what we expect um, when, we, when we get the keys hand, handed back to us. And uh, as you can see, there's covers everywhere to keep, um, to suppress the weeds. In fact, there's not a weed on here. I can't see a bloody weed. It's amazing. And uh, someone's going to be very fortunate because they're going to get that shed as well. And uh, step across here. They've even got a wheelbarrow there. Uh, they've got bins and everything. They've got composting bins there. So, yeah, this is this is what we we expect to get when we when we get the keys handed back. It's not always like this, guys. It's it's a, a absolute uh, mess. Some of the plots that we get, um, they're full of rubbish, and it takes months to clear. But uh, as you can see, everything here is uh, beautiful. So whoever gets this plot is going to get off to a flying start. There'll be a lot of jealous people <laughs> when this gets given out and it'll be going to the first person on the, the waiting list, apparently. That's what happens, it goes to the first person. Anyway, I thought I'd show you the plot and um, it's very sad to see Jack and uh, Christina go, but they left it probably the way they found it. So you see, it's it was absolute pandemonium. It, it took me two and a half hours to get here to my plot yesterday, um, sorting everything out. So um, I, I've sneaked on today, <laughs> and uh, but uh, I've got uh, several uh, clips to show you to, uh, what we've been doing throughout the week. Now remember, we've had a severe hard frost and it's took everything out. The front part of the plot is looking terrible. All the flowers are all dying back. They need to be decapitated. Everything needs to be cut back. I'll right back to um, the soil basically and uh, I'm going to be starting that in the next next video um, I do but for this video it's all in, intents and purposes about the back part of the plot removing everything out all the, all the stuff what um, got frostbitten the only thing what was still left in there which we need to to address is the um, the dailies I need to take the tops off them I'll show you in the next episode of all that but uh, first things first let's show you the first disaster I'm sure M Muddy Boots is, um, has had the same problem as I've had, the Allium Leaf Miner, and this is what it did. So you're going to see what the what it looked like, and then you're going to see me. You're going to see what it looked like after I've tidied it all up. So let's show you that first. Well, guys, uh, today we're going to be lifting all these leaks out of here because the Allium Leaf Miner has got in there and destroyed them. All the weeds are going straight into the chickens, and so are these two lettuces. Uh, I'm going to let the chickens have them and um, then we're going to just tidy the bed up and get it looking like the one behind it. Uh, we do a bed a day, uh, we're not going to um, tire itself out. So I just thought I'd quickly show you what it looks like now and uh, we'll come back to it when it's all done. 
all the, all the bottle tops, everything is going to be taken off it. Um, and then it's just a, a matter of doing the weeding. I don't know if you can see that, but I've just chucked one of these lettuce in there. So, uh, my chickens, I'm going to throw the other one in my brother's chickens and uh, let them have some as well. Yeah, they just just blown, just started to blow that, unfortunately. But anyway, we'll be right back, folks. Well, as you can see, we've uh, we've cleared, tidied the bed up. We took all the leaks out of here now. Give it a good cleaning. I've got some buckets to go through there with potatoes, see what potatoes I've got, but... Yeah, we took all the weeds out of here. It only took a... It didn't take long. But, um... We've got a few leaks we cleaned up, uh, but the rest of them we just tossed them. Uh, there my spade trowel and we thought, have you got to clean them in a bit? Put them away. Let's take you down here because I want to show you these leaks. These are the leaks we just cleaned up, so it's not been it's not too bad. I mean might get a cup of soup out of them. <laughs> but uh I'm partial to eating them raw so I don't think they'll be getting on these. I'm leaving them in here and I'm going to be munching on them um, when I'm doing my video or my videos. And um, yeah, I do like I, I do like uh, raw raw leeks. They, they have got a really nice taste. Anyway, uh, we we did save a few and uh, they're not too bad. But the the leaf miner did it again. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, absolutely gutted about that. I should have put the EnviroMesh over the top of it, but I never did. And uh, would you believe it, the, the frost took the celery out as well. So, it's a little clip here. Um, with me taking, removing the celery. And um, you're going to see um, what it looked like afterwards. You see it before and afterwards in these videos. And maybe a bit of fast movement by me when I speed the camera up to 16 times the speed with a little bit of music. You're going to notice that in a few of the clips. <laughs> so uh, let's show you the celery. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to remove uh, There's two rows of um, celery there which needs to come out. I'm just going to tillivate this area up. This is uh, something I need to do. Um, so I'm going to crack on and uh, do it now. go there's the uh, the bed all nice and tidied we took all the celery out all the weeds out give the weeds to the, the chickens chickens love the weeds celery we've composted it down so all we've got in here now is the the turnips and the um, radish is two rows of turnips there two rows there different different turnips and again we've got uh, two rows of uh, radish as well but I'm just going to put the net back over here. It stopped the cats and dogs from walking up. Well, the cats and the foxes from walking on anyway. And uh, like I say, you can see all the leaves on the paths. These all need to be coming out. That's uh, probably the next job to do. Either that or take this out here and uh, dispose of it. It's the, the pumpkin. It's uh, like I say, it's succumbed to the the frost last night, so that's going to have to come out as well. I might have time to do that today. If not, it'd be tomorrow. So yeah, that was stripe two. The celery got it, and uh, then it was stripe three. The pumpkin got it as well. So um, here's a clip of me removing the pumpkin. You might briefly see a small pumpkin in the. Um, in, in the the video I had to take that out as well because uh, it completely was destroyed I give it to the girls the the small pumpkin um, however um, I didn't grow it uh, the record pumpkin this year that fell to Fran 
she grew a couple of belters and so did um, uh, Lindsay, she, she grew a couple of uh, belters as well. Unfortunately for me I only had one small one. Chickens liked it, so let me show you me tidying the bed up and show you what it looked like, uh, how the frost had got well, to like it. I'm going to have to fight my way in there with this um, pumpkin but I'm just going to pull it up now. It's uh, It's sad really. It was doing so well, and like I said, the frost has got it. The first frost has wiped it out, so there's no point in uh, leaving it in there. And I've got the use for this bed anyway, so uh, watch this space. So there's the, the pumpkin patch, uh, just took the pumpkin out there, we'll be putting um, some garlic into this bed, I've uh, got enough to, to fill this bed to be quite honest with you. The buckets there, uh, um, believe it or not I've still got potatoes in them, even them ones over there have got potatoes, so I'll probably be putting the spent compost into that bed there just to fill it right up to the top of the board. Now what I've done over the years you can see we've lifted the old plot up by about 12 inches so what I'm going to have to do once I get to the top of the boards I'm going to put more boards on top of them and come even higher. I mean the compost I've got tons of compost to do it um, my, my bed, my allotment is uh, at least 12 inches, 14 inches higher than everybody else's because I've built them up. But uh, I might be able to get another layer of wood chip down here just to top dress it, make it look nice. Um, we just have to wait for the, the wood chip to come. But um, this is a problem at the moment. All the leaves on this tree, uh, I've got to collect them. So it's no point in just. Um, doing it now, wait until there's enough fallen. Uh, I don't want to be doing it every single day, probably do it once a week and collect all the leaves so it will look a bit untidy along the back here uh, until then. These compost bins again, I've got to start digging all the compost out and uh, finding places to put them, or to put it I should say. So the next job really is the, the dahlias there, I've got to take the tops off the dahlias and the, the beans but that's for another day. So the next thing on the list was the runner beans and um, you're going to see me taking the wigwams down and removing all the, um, the leaves, tidying everything up, uh, cleaning the bed up, getting it all prepared for, for the whatever I'm going to put in it. Um, we've, there'll still be the dahlias in there and they'll, they'll be getting sorted out next and um, so I've added a bit of music, speeded the camera up and this was what we were doing. Well today we're going to take these um, wigwams down and remove uh, any of the beans which uh, feel suitable to be used and then all what will be left in here the dahlias and we'll, we'll cut them back shortly but uh, it's very windy today so what I might do is uh, add a bit of music and uh, show you me dismantling the, the canes. Uh, we've got a bucket to collect everything and we'll have a look at the um, the beans after we've done it all so let's uh, have at it and uh, crack on. <laughs>
So these are the last of the um, Anorma runner beans. Um, be giving them to my next door neighbour because she loves them. Uh, she's a lovely old stick. She's about 86 and uh, what I do is hang them over the fence for her and she collects them. However, these ones, these are going, I'm going to be start, um, taking all the seeds out of the pod. So that's what they look like. That's what a normal looks like. That's what it's called a normal. So I'm going to be taking the seeds out of all these pods later on and uh, putting them in a little paper bag. I've got, I'm sure I've got a paper bag somewhere. Uh, you best off putting them in paper put them in plastic, they'll sweat and uh, they'll rot, so paper bags are the way to go. But yeah, we've uh, we've been very busy, we've got all the beds almost uh, empty now. But yeah, that, that's the, the last of the beans there. So this is the, the bed that had the beans in. Um, I've cleared all the, the beans out now, they're all in that bag. Not going to sit. The others you've just seen me put, I just put them in the compost. And uh, the next job will be to do the dailies, but like I say, I'm, I'm at it today. And this wind's uh, making me breathless, so we'll come back to these. We'll take the, the frames off them, we'll cut them down, we'll put horseman yard on them, and then we'll cover them over, and they'll sit in the buckets like that over the winter until next year. Um, like I say, the frost has really hammered them, like it's done every every day this mo every morning this week. But, uh, yeah, well, at least we've got the bed clear. I will be putting a load of um, spent compost into this bed. Uh, I will be digging it over as well, so... Yeah, we've got bed, bed, bed. All the beds now clear. This one clear. Obviously, we've got the turnips and um, radish in these. Two different varieties of uh, turnips. However, um, the next task is to put all the um, the garlic in. Elephant garlic in there. Um, Solent white in that bed there. And uh, we might clear this away and put the the onions in this bed. I know it's a bit late, but we will try and get the onions in there. So all it leaves me to do now is just to move that bag out of the way and then we cracked it. And that's another bed tidied up. So the the beds are almost tidy and we're passing the the arch the, the the trees the fruit trees these and i noticed bramley's all underneath my trees anyway um i got my wheelbarrow and i filled the wheelbarrow up let me show you and i'll tell you what we did with well, them just pulled well. a few apples out from underneath the trees there there's a windfall it was pretty windy last night and uh, probably got about four or five wheelbarrows full still to go but these are going to the food bank uh, friend of mine Pete his mother um, as a runs a food bank um, her name's Yvonne and uh, yeah I've got some bags here so I'm gonna bag them all up and stick them on a plot and uh, let her know that they're there for her she's only took a couple of bags today so she's got a little more to take and um, tomorrow <laughs> but yeah there's some cracking Bramley um, baking apples there I can tell you. Yeah, so we give them to the food bank, and um, we've we've got a, a pile more there. Uh, you're going to see when I take on a bit of a tour of the back plot to show you how everything is at the moment. Um, probably Groundhog Day because I probably said most of what we're going to be doing. So uh, with that, uh, let's take you um, on the tour of the the back part of the plot I just saw me my neighbours just arrived there she's just from me <laughs> so let's take you around the, the back part of the plot and show you um, where we're at, at well the, the trees are shedding the leaves and they're also shedding more apples now we filled that as you know we're showing, showing you a clip of that yesterday and we filled it basically um, a quarter full of apples and again the apples are wind, it's been windy last night the apples have fallen so I'm going to be collecting more and giving them to the food bank. This bed is uh, all intents and purposes ready to go. This one I've still got to do a bit of work on it. This is what we've got to, we've got to sort these out as well. I'll do this, I'll show you me doing this in the next 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 video but it has to be done and we'll be the next next thing on the list is this and it'll be putting the garlic in. As you can see this bed's all emptied 
and so is this one so I mentioned in the video one of the the clips I've just shown you that um, we're putting the porcelain or it might be the porcelain white into that and uh, the only thing with anything growing in it at the moment is this there with the the, the turnips and the, the radishes there's two different varieties of um, turnips there and uh, I've done the same thing as Muddy Boots has done I directly sold them into the ground and uh, I've sold them pretty close so if we get any out of it it's alright uh, if we don't lesson learnt <laughs> again this one's all ready for the elephant garlic see all the little footprints of the cats and what have you inside it just been given a load of food um, grit and um, some sawdust for the girls so uh, yeah I can't thank Jim enough uh, again I've got a little I'll show you what he give me in a moment but uh, yeah this is the back part of the plot we'll take the tops off them dahlias as well take the tops off everything here and um, we're almost complete uh, put a new wood chip on the paths and um, we'll be ready for ready to rock and roll with the garlic I'll show you the the front part of the plot in the next episode because that's another job what we've 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 got to get stuck into and it's looking a mess up there at the moment um, but my mess ain't as bad as everybody else's mess it's just the way I see it it's just these all the tops taking off everything um, but unfortunately there are my dahlias there it sucks to see them in the way they are but I'll show you how I will save, how I will store them. You'd be, you'd be surprised. But, but uh, we'll leave that until next episode. So, as you can see, everything's ready to rock and roll and getting the elephant garlic in. I'll show you me doing that in the next episode. Well, I've just, uh, just gone into the community room and uh, I've noticed my mate Jim has just dropped off uh, half a bag of sawdust, a uh, big bag of poultry grit and uh, a big tub of uh, chicken food uh, apparently a friend of his has had chickens and she just got rid of them um, and he asked me did you know any, did, did I know anyone or did I want it for my chickens I said yeah bring it down anyway I've just gone in and there you go all that so my girls over there they will be quite happy with that it's a different food see if they like it if they don't you know and always give it to someone else but the grit's perfect for for the chickens and uh, some new, more new bedding so there we go what a result so there you go that's where we're up to up to date um, I also um, removed the the beans from the the pods and uh, it, let me show you them now hey guys while well, you join me I'm just finishing off the uh, the, the enormous runner beans we've just been obviously taking them out of these pods these are you wait until they go all brown like that and hard and uh, then it's just a matter you pick the best ones out and uh, it's as easy as that really they're the beans and uh, what I'll be doing with these lot is putting them into a brown paper bag and um, well, obviously I'm going to be going through these with a fine tooth comb. That one's a bit squishy, so I'm not going to be using that. You need to check on these at least two or three times before you come to use them. And basically, what you're looking for is any 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 seeds which are damaged, because they will rot. And uh, the last thing you want to do is let them all rot in the in the same bag. And I, I normally put them in two bags. That way, I, I'm not putting all my my eggs in one basket. Uh, but we'll be using it, growing these again next year. That one, see, I mean, these are fine. Yep, perfect. So they're for, they're for next year, and uh, we've actually got another bag which I'm going to be um, giving my next door neighbour. Right. So yeah, that was just thought I'd show you me doing a couple, and another thing as well. A uh, good trick is to put a label in so you know what what the bean is. Because uh, I guarantee you, in another three months, you won't know what the hell they are. Uh, although these, these are normal. They, they're pretty easy to, you know, distinguish what they are. Just drop one on the floor there. I'll pick it up anyway. There, me, there, me, um, me, me seeds for next year. And the tip is 
to bring your paper bags when you come to do that job I left them at home so we've left them drying out in the front greenhouse we'll we'll, we'll put them in bags um, in the next episode and we'll keep an eye on them um, like I say you don't put all your eggs in one basket you could lose a lot so yeah that's what we've been doing this week um, I think it's the the third of November today uh, Sunday so I'll try and get the video up later on and uh, I hope you enjoy it let me know uh, well, it's what the weather's been like where you are. I mean, we've had everything here. We've had frost down to minus two. We've had two. We've had three days of that. We've had three days of rain, and today we've come on, and you couldn't honestly, you couldn't even see in front of your face. Unfortunately, I didn't record that because I was um, on the car boots. And yes, I did get a couple of nice uh, bargains. Uh, unfortunately, I've left them in my car in the car park, so I can't show them you. And that's another video on me, me coins. Um, show you, I will get round to doing it, and um, you'd be blown away. I tell you, I'll show you some of my collection, and show you, you how much you could have fortune in changing your pockets. So, watch out for that video It'll be coming shortly. Anyway, I'm going to have a nice cup of coffee here now. I'm going to get home and get this video sorted out, and I'll see you all back here same time next week. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.